Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a Walmart clearance haul. So this haul was not just from one Walmart trip, but it was actually from three different Walmart trips. Ranging from June to August. So I'm a little bit behind on this haul, but the first trip in June was just one item, so I thought there was no use in doing a haul on it. But now that I've accumulated multiple different items from two different Walmarts, I decided it's time to do a haul. It's kind of funny because I'm doing this haul in the order that I got the set. But it's actually the order of the biggest to the smallest set, which is kind of neat. So the very first set I got was set number 70728, The Battle for Ninjago City. That's the biggest set and it like doesn't it covers up my whole backdrop, but that's okay. It's the biggest set I got. It was on Walmart clearance for Canadian $50, which was a really good deal here in Canada because I don't even remember what the retail price is, but we don't see big sets like this for just $50. Like, it's got 1,200 pieces, and I parted this out in my Bricklink store, so if you're interested in any of the figures or anything like that, go check them out. Next up at a Walmart in the United States, near, like a Walmart near me, I managed to get MX Construction Mech, set number 70814. This was on sale for about $45 American, which I'm not sure if, considering it's 74 Canadian here, I mean, it's a decent deal. Um, I know some people can get it a lot cheaper, and had I waited, maybe they would have put it on cheaper, but when I see clearance, I have to buy it, because it's not going to be there by the next time I get back, because I don't go to the States very often. Also, at this Walmart was set number six or 76038, this Avengers Tower. So you're probably thinking, like, Brick Lever 18, you don't even like superheroes. Well, I, the reason I bought this set was because I had really good plans for it in my LEGO City, so I decided that I'd buy it and, you know, try it out. Before I show you the rest of my sets, the reason this video looks like so kind of crappy, I guess you could say, is this is what my studio backdrop looks like right now. These sets completely cover it. Next up, I got set number 31035, the Beach Hut. This was also from the States, the Walmart in the States. I mean, it's a nice set. Wasn't really sure if I was going to get it or not because I don't really have anywhere for my city to go, but I decided to pick it up anyway because it was only $20. Next up is 75036, this Star Wars Trooper set. This set was on sale for only $8 here in Canada, which again, 50 like that's more than 50% off, or just almost 50% off because it's about a 16 1586 set, so that was a really good deal. Four minifigures, couldn't pass that up. I bought two of them. They only had two of them. I parted them out in my store just because I don't even like Star Wars. But, so if you're looking for those parts, come to my store. And finally, the last set I got was 75076, the Gunship Republic. So again, I got two of these. These were on clearance for $7, which was also a good deal because we, like I can't stress it enough, Canadians don't get Lego on clearance pretty much ever. So when I see Lego on clearance here in Canada, I buy it pretty much no matter what it is. So here's just an overview of the entire haul. Again, sorry you're seeing all this behind the scenes. Like, that's not the point. I'm trying to keep it professional, but it's just such, so many big sets, and it's just such a little reviewing space. Thanks, everybody, for watching this haul video by me, BrickLever18, of all this great Walmart clearance, which is really awesome. If I did more of these really big haul videos, I'd have to invest in a bigger studio space, but because I don't do too many, I'm not going to worry about it. But I'm sorry you're seeing this part here, this part here. Not very professional, but oh well. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.